Hello, I'm going to do a quick video on how to put our mini door together since I don't know what happened to the video. But I use this a lot, this antique wax. It's okay, Riley. Sorry, that's my pup. All right, so I use a, a diaper wipe. And all I do is wipe over the door. Now, if you wanted it darker or if you wanted to paint it, that's fine too. I would definitely paint the back because that's a part you will see, depending on where you put it. Okay. Then I would go ahead and I would do the door frame the same way. Getting that in there. All right. Now you won't have to do the back of this because you're gonna actually glue it in place. So there's that. You might want to go ahead and do your stand. Now there's two pieces to the stand. Okay. Then you have these little pieces. You have this one. It's okay, Riley. He's a senior, so he has some issues that can't do anything about. You can go ahead and do this also. Now, if you wanted to paint your doorknob, you could use um, silver or gold. I use these paint markers, and I use them a lot. Now, I don't know. Let's go ahead and do this one silver. And I'm just going to dot it. Okay? Now, in putting this together, you received a piece of acetate. And the acetate is cut in a, in a rectangle that's going to go over top of this. Now, if you get any dirt on it, I would suggest wiping it off. Not just use a, a dry cloth. I would add a little water and then wipe it off. Now you may have to trim your piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim past the, the rectangle area because I want to glue it in place but then I want to trim what's sticking out. Okay, that way I know it's the right size. Now, in order to do this, this piece is going to be between the top, this bottom of the door, and the piece that goes over. Now, I don't know what kind of glue you use. I highly recommend the CA Thick. Not the CA Thin, not the one that you have to add two parts together. The CA Thick is an instant, instant adhesive. And sometimes the top gets clogged. So you got to stick a pin, stick it down the hole to open it up again. Because no matter what I've tried, I cannot keep this open. I might have to hammer this down. There we go. So. Let's go ahead and glue just around the edges here with the CA Thick. Then we're going to put this in place like that. Make sure it hangs over. Okay. Then we're going to put a thin bead of glue because you don't want a whole lot. Otherwise, it'll ooze out the sides and you can't get it off. So definitely do the outer edge 
and then just kind of dot in between here. There we go. Now we're going to put this over top and match our sides together as best you can. You see, I already got some in here and I didn't want to do that. And I went over on that bottom and I shouldn't have. So I'm probably going to go with my X-Acto knife and I'm going to trim in here when I'm done. But as you can see, we've got some hanging over the sides here. So we can just take, where is my fancy scissors? My curved scissors really get in close. But that's what you would do. You would go ahead, or if you don't want to trim afterwards, go ahead beforehand and trim it. So you have it all trimmed up. Now, you're going to go ahead and you're going to glue whether you want it on the left side or the right side. My door is on the right side. So I'm going to glue that right there. And then I'm going to take my little doorknob and I'm going to glue that right there. Then you see these pieces. And this one I'm going to glue right there. And what that does is your door hanger, you're going to add string to it and you're going to actually hang it from that little hook. So I'm just going to glue that about right there, which is kind of in the middle. Or you can glue it up here also, whichever works for you. It would probably be better up here. And if you can't get it to stick there, you can always go inside and hang it from there. It'll take a minute to set up. So while that's setting up, we're going to glue the stand. Now each piece that has a stand has two pieces. So there's that. And you want to make sure that you're even on the inside or you're not going to be able to get this to go in there. Which I'm even. So it's almost like I'm going to have to make sure that hubby cut this right because it's not feeling right it did, it did go in earlier but anyhow that's how it's supposed to go if for some reason it doesn't fit you always let us know and we can take care of it now this is the this is from the americana set the american set and you would actually add rope to your door hanger and then just hang it from there now usually with your sets you get a porch sign that stands up next to your door. You get a doormat. This one is actually firecrackers that you would add a little piece of frayed rope to the top and then your door hanger. So you get a porch sign, another little decorative item along with a doormat and a door hanger. Now if you need instructions on how to paint the Halloween or the fall one. I don't know where that video went, but if you look at the pictures, you'll be able to see all the colors I use. For the most part, a lot of times I will just use the antique wax and then any of your Posco paint markers. They are the best paint marker. They have them in the really wide um, tip, the chisel shaped tip or they have the medium tip, or they have the fine tip. They are really great for doing small pieces. Now, in doing your door hanger, I would definitely do the bottom circle first. Then I would glue your pieces on top, and then I would just go over them with whatever color marker you wanted to use. That will hold them in place. They're already glued in place. It makes it easier to work on. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, reach out to me. 
Have a great day.